What's up, you guys? It's Matt here, aka Gorilla Gent. Um, go ahead, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Say what's up down in the comments. But tonight I'm coming to you guys with my sin of the day, which was Mont Blanc individual. Um, I want to discuss with you guys its projection and longevity on, on my skin. Um, but first, I wanted to discuss with you guys the display of both the box and the bottle. Um, stay tuned. All right, so here we have the box. The entire thing is reflective on all sides. But we'll start with the name of the cologne here, individual, on the left, and then the Mont Blanc right here. And you'll see here that it is an EDT concentration, and it's 50 milliliters, 1.7 fluid ounce. Um, on the bottom here is just the ingredients. Sorry, I've turned around so much. It's the ingredients and the batch code. On the back, just simply Mont Blanc and where it's made. Again, where it is in France. Um, here is the bottle. In the front, it says Mont Blanc and individual. This bottle reminds me a lot of Calvin Klein Reveal in terms of just the reflective um, nature of the top of the of the cologne. And on the butt back here, it's nothing. You can see that it is a, it's blue. So if you ever want to spray this on your clothing, make sure you're not wearing a white T-shirt. It will stain it. On the cap is really nice and snug, and it's heavy. There's no cap. It's not the easiest clone to hold on to. You can see it's, it's very thin. Um, the bottle is just not the easiest thing to grab onto. But the atomizer looks okay. And it just clips right back into place. All right, so uh, today I put this on at about nine in the morning. Um, I put it on, I'm just gonna spray it right now, just to get a refresher on, on how it smelled. This morning, um, you see, I told you all it's weird. Like, my hand just got kind of wet with the spray because it's, it's not the easiest thing to hold on to. That's uh, as I say a hundred times, like I said in the past, I clones that are hard or difficult to, to gra grab while you spray are just to me, there's annoying. Um, but that's beside the fact, that's besides the, the actual juice itself. Um, I put it on at, at about nine in the morning. Um, I left my house at about 10:30. It was still it was still projecting off of me at that point, um, and I went out and about. I went to a couple stores, um, but this stopped projecting off of me about an hour after I left my house. So at about 11 11:30 um, was when this stopped projecting off of my skin. Um, it, it was it was still it was still there, but it, it, there was when a you know loud projection at at, a, at about two o'clock is when I couldn't smell anymore. Um, but the the smell of it. It doesn't really, it doesn't change much. It just kind of dies down. Like this, the opening smell that you have with it, kind of, kind of, kind of, it pretty much stays that same. It just kind of dies down just a little, just a little bit. Um, uh, but um, in terms of it, this being a fresh fragrance, which, which I, I will label this as being, it's a fresh, clean fragrance. Um, but it's not, to me, it's not spicy. It's just fresh. This is, this is like, a, this is like a fresh out of the shower kind of fragrance. Um, I've smelled a lot of body washes that, that smell similar to this, um, but in terms of it being a fresh fragrance, I give it about a five out of ten. Um, this is, is not the best one in my collection. It's not the worst one in my collection, um, but uh, this isn't this isn't something that I would you know reach for more than once in a week. I don't think um, it's it's a dumb reach if I'm like in a rush to get out of the house and I'm, this is the first thing I see. Sure, why not? But this is something that I would probably wear on like just an average Wednesday where I know that I'm just gonna be sitting down in my desk because it is a pleasant smell. This is pleasant. Um, and I would smell it on me for probably about four to four and a half hours. Um, and it, it's okay. Um, I'm not mad at how much it's cost. It, it, it wasn't a lot. I don't, I don't remember what I paid, but it's probably about 20 bucks, I think. Um, but uh, this is the second Mont Blanc that I've owned. I want to say I think the first was the uh, um, Mont Blanc Explorer, as I returned, but this is okay. This is not this, this is not a bad one. Um, uh, but it it could do different on your skin. It could project like a beast off of you, but I don't see that. I don't I don't get that from it. Um, for the first little little bit, it it does project pretty pretty good. Um, like when I first left my house and I was walking around, I could I could smell it. Um, I, I didn't get any compliments. I didn't didn't really expect to. Uh, just because 
it's such a clean, safe fragrance that, that I don't see it being like walking by someone and them saying anything about it because it's, it's, it's just not clean. Um, but again, it's a five out of ten for me. Uh, but if if it has worked for you guys, let me know uh, down in the comments. Um, I want to hear stories on it, just because today was day one with this. Today was day one of full wearing of this. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm getting out of here again. Like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.